And uh, to do that, I'm going to use another one of my favorite functions from this web developer toolbar called View CSS. It'll bring together all the CSS files that this site uses and display them just as a tab in Firefox. We're not going to use all of this. What I'm going to do is look for things that I know will be similar between mine, my website and their website and transplant them across into the Moodle style sheet. Um, why not link to their style sheet? Well, not always the tags that I want will be having the same names that their web developer came up with, so we do need to transplant them across. So let's actually start off with it. Here's a demo site. Um, again, I've saved some time, but having created a new theme, I've actually gone to my appearance themes, theme selector, and I've actually gone through and selected uh, this client theme so that changes I make will be visible straight away. All right, let me just close that up. And let's look at the uh, style sheet. The first thing we see here that's really important is this red background. So I go into my CSS, there we have it. The body, this is the website background. I'm going to stress this isn't a CSS course. Uh, if you need to get your head around some of this, there's some great books and I'll put some links in uh, below for you. Let's start off with the background color of the body. This is that wonderful glorious red that we see. So I'm just going to copy that, go to my CSS edit, and in color, there's body. I'm just going to paste that and hit save. Again, what I like about this program, it's showing me straight away that the change has taken place. I can see it here in the body tag. If I come back to my demo site, hit refresh, I'll see that it's now gone a glorious shade of red. Now the whole page is red. Uh, well, I just actually want the background. I actually want Moodle itself to have a white background. You see here their page has a white background inside the actual page itself. Um, there is a Moodle div tag surrounding the whole body. It's called layout-table. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go into here. Um, sadly, I can tell you now it's not defined uh, in the standard. That's why it's all going to see through. So just up the top here, I'm going to go uh, layout-table and I'm going to make the background color white. If I've done my job right, I come in here and hit refresh. You can see here it's gone white. Why haven't these changed? That's because these are header and footer files. They actually are different. We'll be coming back to get back to them in a couple of seconds. Now, as I mentioned, um, we see here that this is a fixed width table on the home page. So what we're going to do is um, there are a couple of ways we could do this. I'm trying to think. You know what, I'm going to actually make the whole site variable width. Um, and if the client asks for a change, I'll come back to that. But I do want to make sure we show the red. So what we're going to do is we're also going to go now to the layout and we're going to edit our body settings in uh, layout. So if I can find body here. Let's just do a quick find here. Ah, there is no main body settings in my layout in a standard style sheet, that's surprising. So I'm going to just up the top again, add uh, a body and add some tags. Now I'm going to make, uh, insert some uh, padding here. So I'm just going to go padding left. Just thinking I might just use a margin here. Let's see how this works. Come back now to the site. There we go. See how it's indented? Um, I'm going to indent that just a little bit more. There we go. So we've got a, a nice padding on the side. Um, Let's add that to the right hand side as well. So I'm going to go padding left. Padding right will be the same. Hit refresh and we'll see that at least now we get that red around the sides. Um, there are different ways we could do a fixed width, but I'm really not keen on explaining those because I don't think you should be doing too many fixed width designs. So we might come back towards that at the end if we have time. Um, what else is big about the site? We've got a little bit of a gap up the top, and we have a little bit of a gap at the bottom. So if we have a look at ours, let's do just that. I'm going to do a uh, padding top of 10 pixels, and like both padding bottom. There is another way you can do this all at once. But I'm, again, just keen on showing this in a simple, easy to read manner, so uh, this should be good enough. Alright, so we've got a bit of padding up top and bottom, again, that'll be more uh, obvious once we put some background colours behind the header and footer. Uh, what else is big about this site? Well, obviously another major element will be the font that is used. If I come into here, in the body, this is the uh, font that's used across the page, they've defined the font as being 
Verdana Aerial Vertical Sand Serif. So again, I'm just going to copy that, come back into here, because I know I've got fonts in a different style sheet other than here. So here we have it. Now Moodle actually in the standard style sheet defines the uh, font in a couple of places. Uh, I know this because I've done it a couple of times, so you can take my word for it. So what I'm going to do is actually paste that not just once, but there's a second reference bit further down the page. Um, so the arrow has its own font. I've never quite realised why the arrow had to be a different font, but I'll let Martin answer that in the comments if he wants to. Alright, so here we go. If I now hit refresh again, we'll see that the font has changed a little bit. That's now using the font that the site was using. Uh, last thing we're going to look at is, of course, the font size. Now, they have used a percentage. I hate percentages. I try and avoid using them where I can. It's best to try and use, you know, a, a, an EM or even specifically a, a certain pixel size. Uh, but that's what they've chosen. I'm going to keep that. However, if I go 62.5 in Moodle, it will not work. Uh, let me show you why. Because Moodle has its own sizes put throughout it. If I was to go 62.5, if I'm right, everything is going to shrink horrifically. Let's have a quick look at how that's going to go. Yes, there we go. Everything's gone to an absolute minute scale. So look, I'm going to muck around a bit. Mine was a bit large. If I just say 95%, I know I said I hate percentages, but look, that's what they're doing, so I'm going to stay the same for now. And if we flick back and forwards, you'll see that font size is, is pretty accurate. So I'm going to leave that as is. All right. Um, what can we look at next? Well, look, we can jump straight to the header and footer. Um, in fact, well, let's do that now. Before we go anywhere, there's a couple of things we're going to need from this page. The images. Now, I don't care about a shopping cart because Moodle isn't a shopping site, but obviously I'm going to need this image. This is their logo. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right-click, Save Image As. I'm going to save it into my theme folder. So I called it Client Theme. Where we save it's relevant because we're going to have to reference it anyway, but I always recommend we try and keep things in the Pix folder. So I'm going to go into Pix, and I'm going to save logo.gif. So there we are, that's now saved. Um, I think that's the only image I need from here. Um, no, it looks like we have an image here in the, the block heading. Uh, in Firefox, you can go view background image. You can see the image here, it's just an image that is usually uh, replicated and repeated, sorry, over the x-axis. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and save that image. I'll keep it in there as well. Um, let's call it something that I'll recognize. Let's just call it block header BG for background. Um, usually if you go through this process, you may discover some of the images as we go through. I'm not going to be using this one. I'm just going to keep the headers as that, so I'm not going to worry. And that isn't an image, that's just a color background. So on this website, I'm very lucky that it seems to be only two images I'm going to have to use. But again, as we explore further, we may have to come back. All right, so let's go through and uh, talk about our header. Our header currently looks nothing like theirs. Um, I'm going to show you a very quick cheat. We're going to actually replicate theirs by literally just copying their HTML. So what I'm going to do now is on this page, I get another feature I love about Firefox. If I go through and highlight, which hopefully I can. There we go. Just highline that area. If I right click, I can say view selection source. And it will actually just give me the source of that area. So here we have you know, the logo.gif up the top. Um, we've got a menu and the menu information. Now, I do hate sites like this when it comes to trying to emulate them because they've all done it very carefully with a whole bunch of divs, which by the way is the way a website should be built. Um, these days we're usually moving away from table-based layouts. Um, but it means that what I'm going to have to do is really try and uh, replicate this myself. So let's forget that all together and we're going to start from scratch. Um, I also said that I use Photoshop. The reason I like using Photoshop, because I don't want to just spend hours going through their CSS, I'm just going to do a print screen, which on a Mac is Control command shift 4 and um, the reason I like doing that is it allows me just to capture that part of the screen. When I go into my Photoshop, I'm just going to put a new document and paste that. So that's going to be very useful for us as we move on. Let me just trim that down so I don't have to waste all that space. Whoops. One camera there, I won't trim it down. All right. So we have the prerequisites in place. What I'm going to do now is edit the header and footer. Now, both these are HTML documents. Um, I am a good old fashioned hard coder. I don't usually use tools like Dreamweaver. So I'm just going to take these straight into my BB edit. 